Alright, Shalom. 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 Alright, we want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Raga Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and rule well. Peace and blessings, salutation to the elect. Alright, we're the Great Millstone Dallas camp. We got the main camp behind us. We just decided to come over here and do a side lesson, okay, about all uh, uh, the stuff that's taking place in the, in the world right now, man, okay. We have this coronavirus, man, uh, uh, going around and Trump. Trump had did a uh, like a little press conference, uh, press conference a couple of days ago, basically downplaying it, man. You know, he's sitting here uh, 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 trying to get uh, feed these the American citizens uh, 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 comfortable words, man. You know, when their actions say another thing, man. They taking all these precautions and stuff. Okay, you had a, a, a state of emergency in San Francisco, man. Okay, the city's getting get prepared to take uh, 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 you know necessary uh, uh, precautions when uh, when dealing with this. Uh, Coronavirus, man. Right. So stuff, it's, it's, it's about to pop off, man. Okay. So Donald Trump is feeding these people, man, a uh, 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 false hope, man. You know. And this happening everywhere around the world, man. And now it's coming to America. This is First Thessalonians chapter five, verse three. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm gonna start at verse two. Might as well start at the top. <laughs> First Thessalonians five and one. But at the times and at the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. And when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. Ooh. Hey, and that's, and that's what Donald Trump is saying all in a nutshell, man. Comfort. He's trying to comfort the people. He's telling everybody, don't worry about it. And 95% 90, of the people, even the ones that didn't vote for Donald Trump, they're gonna hear these words. Because at the end of the day, they're gonna blow over it and they're gonna think it's something just like Ebola, swine flu, and such. Mm -hmm. When none of those diseases were really pandemics. Yeah. This is really a pandemic right now, and what makes it worse is that it's being made known around the world. But you got this man out here, and no, I don't worry about it, it's all good. Okay, cool. The scriptures say when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction shall come. Yep, and we see all the things taking place right now, man. Destruction is nigh, knocking at the door. Man. You got it. Well, you don't have it, man. Right. Bro, I got a little I got a news article okay. going into it, man. This is from uh ampproject.org. It says Donald Trump is trying to downplay coronavirus, but the crisis is threatening his uh one political asset. Okay, and it goes on to say as uh as fears over the coronavirus uh spread threat uh slack. It says as fears over the spread of the coronavirus threatens threatens tightens his grip slack here. On the world, U.S. President Donald Trump wants to uh, know that every everything is under control. He said, and this is quote Donald Trump, man, okay? This is what he said at that, uh, that press conference, man. He said, we have a tremendous success, tre tremendous success beyond what many people would have thought. He told journalists in the, White, in the White House briefing room. He said, we have great experts really in the world, the greatest experts really in the world right here. The rest of the American people uh, remains very low, okay? So here it is, he's giving our people, he's giving these people, uh, uh, like the scriptures say, man, his words are smoother than butter, man, you know? Yeah, man, yeah. he's giving them those, 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 those smooth words, man, okay? Trying to comfort them, man. When there's no comfort that's coming to this place, man, only destruction, you know? And it's happening everywhere uh, in the earth right now, and it's about to happen to America, man, okay? People walking by, living comfortably. Uh, on my way up here, man, I seen some people walk by just, just uh, while my brother was going in, on, going in about destruction, man. Just laughing and he here ha ha, man. You know? Right. But like it said, like the brother read in first Thessalonians, hey man, this gonna catch you like a thief in the night, man. That's so, right. You know? That's right. I got a quick precept. Unless you want to have more. You gotta go. This is Luke chapter 21, starting at verse 34. It says, and take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life, and so that that day come upon you unawares. For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell in the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all those things that shall come to pass and stand before the Son of Man. And those people are the ones that serve it, drunkenness. The Lord is telling us not to be that way. That's why I wanted to bring it out though because these are the people who the Lord's um, hammer is going to hit. Or his right hand is going to hit, I should say, man. Walking around, laughing, lollygagging as if there's no care in the world. I mean, we're in the center of downtown right now where it's a lot of drunkenness and surfing going on. Yep. Okay, this is literally the same spirit 
of those um, those ancient men that were in um that were in um I don't know, I can't really say the name it was where it was at. But when Noah was prophesying and preaching, that was the same spirit that they was in, man. And what had happened? Suddenly that rain came, man. And just because it says suddenly doesn't mean it's gonna be tomorrow or next week. It could be, you know, but just know that it's gonna come soon, man. Suddenly means in an instant, it means soon. Okay, and it's a lot more sooner today than yesterday. Yep. But only the men of the Lord are going to be the ones that are out there on their watch, as Yahweh commanded us to do, man. Yahweh ain't going to send his angels to come down and take his men out of sleep in the night, because those are the men that are measuring out the time diligently within themselves, as sure. the scriptures say, man. That was all I had on that. Okay. He, uh, he read about the coronavirus. You can't forget about, y'all said just a story that happened in, in, in Egypt. Yeah, it's a, it's a story that happened in Egypt, but it was an actual story. It says the plagues of Egypt and the story of the Bible of Exodus are 10 disasters inflicted on Egypt by Yahweh, the power of Israel, in order to force the Pharaoh to allow the Israelites to depart from slavery. So this is all about what the Most High wants. This is biblical, man, the things that's happening. Man. That's right. So he coming to get his people, the elect of his people, out of his polluted ass place from the modern day Pharaoh, man. That's what y'all fail to understand, man. Yep, and the about modern the day Pharaoh. The modern day Pharaoh is the so called white man. Gun, the water. And that's right, the so called, the modern day Pharaoh is the so called white man. You got that's right, that's right. Nah, right, that's it on that one. You know, that's it, man. Please, did you have more on that article, bro? Hold on. Yeah, let's see if it's more work. Nah, nah, it's right. Unless you have more appreciation. No, nah, that's just, just a little paragraph. But that's why the most sides telling Israel. But well, go ahead. I'm going to finish that back. Okay, come on. It reads on. It says, but that he, as he uttered these reassuring words and revealed, he had president, uh, Vice President Mike Pence in charge of the situation. News was breaking on the other side of the country about the first sign of a possible breakout. That's right. That's right, man. And that's over there in Los Angeles. Yep. Okay? And the thing Ooh. about it is they're not talking about it was um, it was um, pretty much given by a group or a Moabite. This right. person just recently just randomly caught it, man. Yep. Which goes to show you at the end of the day, that, I mean, we all know that yeah, this yeah. is Esau being the, being the sword. And he one one operation of warfare that he uses is biological warfare at that man. So these are all chemicals that he's making within his labs, but this is still all done by the Heavenly Father. And now we're seeing his word being fulfilled, those pestilence, just like Egypt, as the brother had said, it's happening right now, man. Yep. It just sprang up over there in California. Yep. It's popped up. Just like how these locusts popped up on the other side of the world. Yep. And now they're swarming it by the size of snakes. This is all works that's done by the most high, man. Yep. Bro, we was, we was talking about that on the way from that's the right. store, man. That's you right. know what I'm saying? You got, bro. Think about that. A swarm of locusts. A swarm of locusts that's as big as the state of Texas yeah. with the coronavirus. Come on, bro. Damn. Just swarming. Yeah. Come on, man. That's right. That's possible, man. That's a strong possibility right now. That's one how I'm watching my side. It's just controlling everything. Yep. Yeah. It's funny that I, I watched the y'all swarming video. Now they're saying that they got a chart. Tell you that if you got a beard on your face, yeah, that yeah. to shave your beard. That goes into Isaiah what ten and one. Woe to you that decree on righteous decrees. Right. So right. what he gonna do? I mean, that makes see that's that's, that's proof that the scripture also say that it says about uh, faith. Have a faith. Damn. Over the over the high man. Let's go come a time that Jeff shall live by faith, man. Yeah, that's right. Have a cook. Yeah. Have a cook. Yeah. Have a cook. Yeah, yeah. Have a cook. I had that lesson plan. Yeah, yeah, man. Now you trying to say cut your beards off and shit. The more bikes who got the shit don't have a beard on their face. They ain't got yeah. no beards on their face. But now you gotta cut. Right. Hey, right. come on, man. We know what y'all doing, man. That's, that's right. why I just good to say we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, that's right, man. Brother. That's right. And they tell they tell you when they try to advise you to shave your beard uh -huh. off due to that mask that right. they say is gonna be more that, so required um, to wear. That respirator from that, that respirator, because according to Esau, there's certain respirators that you have to wear in order to get it fitted on your face. You gotta cut your beard off, man. Which at the end of the day, man, if the Lord wants you to have this virus or be taken by it, a mask ain't gonna help. It don't matter. Man. What, what about the hair on your head? Exactly. Right. On your arm. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, the, the hair on your head. So you gotta shave your whole eyebrows, everything. Our, our mask is Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai. That's the That's spirit. right. Yep, that's, that's right. That's the mask. That's the only mask. That's our head of protection, as the scriptures say. That's right. And that's what's going to keep us covered, man. Just like how Moses and the rest of those Israelites were covered when all those when all those plagues. All the hit. plagues. Yep. This is right, Egypt man. all over again. So best believe, if we have that blood on our doorpost, we're going to be good. Now I say, uh, somebody get that. 
Yeah, get the uh, get yeah, get the get 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 the uh, get the, the plagues, the okay. chapter the, the chapter with the plagues. Yeah, yeah cause we cause we coming in we coming in the state of Moses and Aaron right now. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Going into these plagues yeah. coming, and the way that the plagues were set up, it was all these different plagues. But it, as as these plagues continue, the Most High will harden Pharaoh's heart. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, get Romans 9 first. Get Romans 9 and go into uh, 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 the Jacob and Esau part where it go into the... Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, 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 I, I raised Pharaoh up. Okay, fine. This is the... Yeah. All right, this is uh, Romans 9. And I started 15. It says, For he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not him that will it, nor, nor of him that run it, but right. the Most High that showeth mercy. Okay. For the scripture said unto Pharaoh, uh, uh, even for this same, it said, for the scripture said unto Pharaoh, even for the same purpose, I will raise thee up, and I will show my power in thee. That's what I'm saying. He raised up Pharaoh to show his power. He raised up Esau to show his power. You see? Same thing. Same thing. Go ahead. It says, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. That's what I'm saying. So that last Exodus, right? Yep. His name was declared throughout all the world. Right. Yep, right, yep. This time, his name gonna be declared throughout all the world. Same concept, right? Nothing new being under the sun. That's right. That's right. All right, y'all, y'all got that? Got that Exodus 12, right? Yeah. Now. Go ahead. No, 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 I ain't got it. No, no. Okay. I'm Is that the chapter with the plagues in it? Well, the, the how he did the logos and how he did the the made it. Uh, that's what I want. Yeah, when it went into all, because because the, 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 what you notice, the plagues went from, it went from being, uh, it went from it, it went from being a game, then it went to being annoying, and then it went to straight death. Just <laughs> it was a process. You know what I'm saying? That's right. That's right. All, right. all the frogs. You know what I'm saying? All the locusts. The water being turned into blood. All these different things was happening. And each one, Pharaoh had a reaction to it. You know what I'm saying? Some he was say he thought he could dispute with his witches. You know what I'm saying? Coming oh, up against Moses guy. and Aaron. Yeah, yeah. You want me to get? Cut. Okay, this is uh, Exodus chapter 10. I'm gonna start from the top. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go in unto Pharaoh, for I have hardened his heart. Just yep. like we're reading about in Romans mm -hmm. 9. Yep, that's what I'm saying. But that's what I'm saying. Now, put yourself in Moses' shoes. The Lord is telling us through the spirit, through the scriptures, through the precepts, Esau. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through this account, but we're going to equate Esau to Pharaoh, and we're going to equate the prophets to Moses. That's right. Let's go. It says, in the heart of his servants, that I might show these signs before him. Uh-huh, that's what I'm saying. And we're telling you about those signs. Because all these things that's going on all around the world, we're telling you about them before they happen. Go ahead. And that thou mayest tell in the ears of thy son... And of thy son's son. No, spread, spread it from generation to generation. This is that's what I'm saying. This is gonna be big. Right? <laughs> this is gonna be epic. You know what I'm saying? Like when the Lord told Noah, he said, Noah, I need you to build a boat. He told him what he was gonna do. That's what I'm saying. The Lord told us what he's gonna do through the scriptures. Thermonuclear destruction. There's people that don't believe that thermonuclear destruction is in the Bible. Right. But it is. Go ahead. Con. It says. What things I have brought in Egypt and my signs which I have done amongst them, that you may know how that I am Yahweh. That's what I'm saying. So that's what I'm saying. So the Lord is finna show his power. He's having us declare. He's having us herald in Yahweh Shai and the angels, man. Right. Go ahead. That's right. And Moses and Aaron came unto Pharaoh and said unto him. That's what I'm saying. So we, as the prophets, the hopeful elect, we come into Esau telling them. Telling them what? It says, and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord God of the Hebrews, How long would thou refuse to humble thyself before me? Uh-huh. Let my people go that they may serve me. That's what I'm saying. And that's what we're saying. That's what we're saying. Because Esau's trying to push this chip. And we that we that damsel out in the field right. that's crying out no, no, that's right. that we already betrothed. We already got somebody. That's right. That's right. We already got a power. We already got a Lord. Right. Go ahead. God, verse 4. 
Else, if thou refuse to let my people go, behold, tomorrow will I bring the locusts into thy coast. That's what I'm saying. So you got the locusts. That's that. That's that's a plague. You see? And the locusts going on right now. If, any, if anybody want to look up the word plague real quick, that'll be dope too. God, God. And they shall cover the face of the earth. And they shall cover the face of the earth, man. Locusts covering the face of the earth, bro. That's a lot of locusts. That one cannot be able to see the earth. Man. And you said it was a lot of locusts. When you look at it right now, the, the size of these swarms are the size of particular states. And they're traveling, they're traveling in, uh, in miles within short amounts of time. And what are they doing? They're eating vegetation. That's what locusts do. Right. And that's one of the plagues that the Lord sends, the locusts. Mm -hmm. He sends them to eat things. And a lot of these things that the locusts are eating is stuff that gets exported out to these different right. countries. So this definitely goes to the plagues that the brothers are looking up right now. And that's ultimately going to aid to leading in a famine. You know? God. That's what the Lord does. Hey, you talk, you read about it in Ezekiel 14, where he says that he will send his four score judgments before the destruction comes to judge the earth. What of them being plagues, pestilence, famine, and noisome beasts. I'm, not, I'm sorry, pestilence, the sword, famine, and noisome beasts. And we definitely see two of them right now, man. Yep. The sword. And then we see those pestilence. Mm -hmm. Okay? So the Lord is definitely working right now. And it was done before, which is what we're reading about. I'm telling you, man, if them locusts get a hold of that uh, corona, man. that's going gonna, gonna to be a problem. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. It's going to be a problem. Go ahead. It said plague. Oh, no. He it, said, what does the, uh, it said, what does the word plague mean in the Bible? Anything that afflicts or troubles, calamity, scourges, any contagious epi epi epidemic disease that is deadly, bubonic plague and form a nuisance annoyance bible of any virgin calamity sent down as divine punishment exodus 9 14. Saying, now, now, now watch the progression right watch the progression of the plagues you know what i'm saying how we always use the analogy how the scriptures talk about how a woman travail you know what i'm saying the, the birth pains right right that's right let's watch no, no. <laughs> this is exodus chapter 10 back in verse verse 5 and they shall cover the face of the earth, that one cannot be able to see the earth, and they shall eat the residue of that which is escaped, uh -huh. which remaineth unto you from the hell, and shall eat every tree which groweth for you out of the field. Now keep in mind, man, the Lord is telling Moses it's through the Spirit, right? The Lord is telling us through the Spirit. So when when the Lord tells you something, you're going <coughs> to make sure you fulfill his will. You're going to make sure you do what he say. So he's telling you what's going to happen. But what that does is that builds up confidence because the power is dealing with you. That's right. You know what I'm saying? You're getting uh, uh, instructions straight from the source. That's right. You know what I'm saying? He didn't wait until Moses was asleep to seal his instructions. You see? He dealt with it. Go ahead. God. Keep going. It reads, And they shall fill thy houses and the houses of all thy servants and the houses of all the Egyptians with neither thy fathers, sorry, which neither thy fathers nor thy father's fathers have seen since the days that they were upon the earth unto this day. Bro, all them locusts, locusts everywhere. Go ahead. It didn't matter. The plagues back in Egypt, we didn't, we, wasn't, we didn't see those plagues, man. Right. We're reading about them now, but it's coming down again. Right. Twofold. Right. That's right. And what? A land that's spiritually called Sodom in Egypt. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. And, and it explained that, you know, they they fathers, know they fathers, fathers mm -hmm. have bore witness to a plague of that magnitude, man. So how much more can you add that to the worst time period that the earth is getting ready to bear witness to? That's right. Okay, because we read earlier that their sons' sons were going to know about these things that had taken place in Egypt. Come but on. now since we know about that and we hear that, we resort back to what had taken place in Egypt. And we see that and measure it to what's going to take place here now. It's that way worse, man. <laughs> so even our fathers, our father's fathers, right. which is around this time, ain't even bore witness to what's coming right now, man. It's going to get bad. I'm going to keep reading. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when you keep reading, it says, And he turned himself and went out from Pharaoh. And Pharaoh's servant said unto him, How long shall this man be a snare unto us? Let the men go that they may serve the Lord their God. Knowest thou not yet that Egypt is destroyed? That's what I'm saying. See, that, that, plague, <laughs> that plague triggered a reaction. You know what I'm saying? He like, man, you know what, man? Bro, just let them go, man. They done tore up everything, man. Right? Yep. Keep reading. God. And Moses and Aaron were brought again unto Pharaoh and said unto him, Go serve the Lord your God, but who are they that shall go? And Moses said, We will go with our young 
and with our old, with our sons and with our daughters, with our flocks and with our herds will we go, but we must hold a feast unto the Lord. And he said unto them, let the Lord be so with you, and I will let you go, and your little ones look into it, for evil is uh, before you. Now I want to go down to, go okay, well it's a little, actually it's right before, right after it. It says in 11, not so, go now, ye that are men, and serve the Lord, for that ye did desire, and they were driven out from Pharaoh's presence. And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thine hand over the land of Egypt for the locusts, that they may come up upon the land of Egypt and eat every herb of the land, yep. even all that the hell had left. Yep. So I'm sorry. No, 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 go ahead. So you remember when you go into these different plagues, it was hell that was sent down, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? And that hell devoured everything. A lot of these are called the devourer. When you look into it, when you go into um, the judgment of a land that doesn't pretty much do what the Lord wants, Right. He, he considers these things being the devourer, and one of the devourers is hell. All right, and when now that hell comes, uh, what comes after it is called a blasting, oh, or yeah, a lot of yeah, stuff yeah, is yeah. scorched. All right, and it's withered away. So there was already a small residue of vegetation that was left over. Okay, so the Lord has sent that, that those locusts to devour all the rest of that up, man, because Pharaoh continued to harden his heart. Just like you got Esau that's likened unto Pharaoh right now, and America which is likened unto Egypt. Okay. That's right. That's right. It says, verse 13, And Moses stretched forth his rod over the land of Egypt, and the Lord brought an east wind upon the land all that day and all that night. And when it was morning, the east wind brought the locusts. And the locusts went up all over the land of Egypt and rested in all the coast of Egypt. Rested. Yep. <laughs> Man. My man for one day. Ah. Uh -huh. After they ate, they was chilling. Chilling, yeah. <laughs> you can't even go outside. Man, yeah. and the food was gone, and they still resting, chilling, man. Right. You know that that's got to be divine intervention right there. Yeah, they resting. After they ate. It said, very grievous were they. Before them, there was no such locust as they. Neither after them shall be such. That's what I'm saying, a special kind of locust. Man, right. You know what I'm saying? A locust designed strictly for, that's just like how in uh, Sirach 39. That there be spirits created for vengeance. Right, right. Those those locusts was created for vengeance right, on Egypt. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Con. It says, and the locusts went up. Oh, I already read that verse fifteen. And they covered the face of the whole earth, so that the land was darkened. And they did eat every herb of the land and all the fruit of the trees which the hell had left. And there remained not any green thing in the trees nor in the herb of the field through all the land of Egypt. That's what I'm saying, man. Desolate. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Definitely. Um, oh, ham mice catching over there too, right with the locusts. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Egyptians. Egyptians, so, yeah, eat, eat, eat the barley crops, man. That's right. That's what's, right. The, what's the next plague? You go it to, says, oh, I got some. Well, I got to just uh, go, land back. Bring it up. The locusts, man. Yeah, bring it up. Okay, this is, uh, I looked it up, man, uh, in Google it says, locusts are a collection of certain species of short horned grasshoppers. And I'm going to get straight to it. It says, this, these insects are usually solitary. But under certain circumstances, they become more abundant and change their behavior and habits. That's what I'm saying. When the Lord put the spirit on them. <laughs> That's right. When the Lord put the spirit on them to do damage, they do damage. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Hey, the next plague was darkness. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Hey, let's get it. Let's go, let's go, let's go to the camera right now. This is, uh, you know we ain't going to get nothing in in the main camp. <laughs> they think over there. Hey, we got the brothers from Mississippi in town, man. Call all y'all about some y'all shot. They got her oh, safe, man. Y'all swam and made it back to the West Coast safe, too. Come, come, come. Everybody safe. Everybody safe travels. Call all y'all about your shot. Right. This is Exodus chapter 10, verse 21. And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thine hand toward heaven, that there may be darkness over the land of Egypt, even darkness which may be felt. But that's what I'm saying. You see how the Lord putting the spirit on Moses to do these things? Stretch out your hand over this. Stretch out your hand over that. Fast forward to times today when you see it in the movies. Right? That's right. What Magneto do? <laughs> he put his hand, he stretch his hand forth. Shit happened. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's Superman. Right. Same thing. Out of, uh, out of uh, the, 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 the uh, X-Men and all that old stuff, all that come out the scriptures, man. Yep. Go ahead. Right. Hey, and it says that the darkness may be felt, bro. So, you know, you ever been in such thick night. darkness where you can't see nothing in front of you it to the point black. where you feel like you're devoured in that stuff, man? Man. Like, you know, like when electricity comes off at, at, the, at the house at night, when you can't see anything or the basement, that's how the whole land of Egypt was. 
you know? No, I, I remember one time I might uh, have, I had drank a little bit too much. You know what I'm saying? And you know how sometimes you don't have your wits about you? You end up uh, getting up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom or something like that? Yeah. It actually took me a while to realize because I, I didn't turn the light on. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to turn the light on because I didn't want to, you know, I just wanted to right. go back to sleep. Right. I didn't want right. to interfere with, with all that light. And I know my bathroom, right. you know what I'm saying? But for a second, for a second, it was about a good 15, 20 seconds to where I was, I just had to stand there and realize, where am I at? Because it was that dark in there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, 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 and it was it was, it was was so dark in there that I felt like I had to figure out where I was before I made a move anywhere. Yeah. You know right. what I'm saying? Because my bathroom kind of tight. You know what I'm saying? I would have knocked some shit over and it just really caused it. You know what I'm saying? But I really had to, I had to adjust to that darkness. Yeah, right, yeah. You know? Right. But this darkness is fair. You can't adjust to this, right? Yeah, so you know? Bad, you, this darkness here, you're trying to adjust to something dark. So it's so dark, you, you can feel it. Man, that's, that's, that's thick, bro. That's right, that's right. You were in Wisdom of Solomon where it goes into that detail? 17. Yeah, 17. Well, yeah, because when you go into that, what was going on in Egypt, man? It, it's the spirit, yeah, because we were speaking on it over there very briefly at the main camp about an hour ago, man. Like, there's demons that are out here, and these people can't see them. Mm -hmm. But back there in Egypt, when that darkness yeah. came, that's when those demons was made manifest. You got that? Yeah, yeah. Wisdom of Solomon, uh, I guess right to it. <laughs> this is Seven. the account. This is what was going on and what we're reading about right now with that darkness. This is part of the plagues. Mm -hmm. This is a plague right here. These oh, demons the plague, manifest. Yeah. That's a plague. No, so in, in, in that plague, you say it for, uh, 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 scare you, annoy you, yeah. all kind of different oh, that's shit. Right. That's right. That's right. That's <laughs> right. Annoying Wisdom of Solomon 17 and 2. But when the unrighteous man thought to oppress the holy nation, they being shut up in their houses, the prisoners of darkness, and feathered with the bonds of a long night, laid their exile from the external provin uh, providence. Uh -huh. It says, For while they, while they supposed to lie hid in their secret sins, they were scattered under a dark veil of uh, forgetfulness, mm. being horribly astonished and troubled with strange apparitions. Horribly astonished, man. And it says strange apparitions. About a scene. Oh, so you remember that movie, uh, The Devil's Advocate? Yeah. yeah. With uh, Keanu yeah. and Al Pacino? Al Pacino? You remember when it got to the point where he could see the demons? See, it's been so long. So yeah, because yeah, at, fir at, first, at first it was a presence, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Because he was a church boy. Ah, oh, man. Yeah. Phone just cut off. It died. Yeah. 